So I'm so excited to share my new LifeOS system for 2025. It's called SparkFlow. It's where I manage everything, tasks, projects, habits, goals, and much, much more, all in one place. Now it's built using more than 11 powerful productivity methods, like getting things done and sign fields don't break the chain. It simplified my life with minimal clicks and seamless navigation. You want to know the secret? It's all about weeks. Small, manageable building blocks that make big goals achievable. In this video, I'll highlight eight key features that make SparkFlow a game changer. Let's dive in. So let me show you around SparkFlow. It's super easy to navigate. When you open it up, you'll see this main menu on the left. Each menu item comes with a quick description on the right so that you always know what's inside. Plus, there are toggle buttons to reveal subsections when you need them. It's super easy to stay on track. Every page has this checkbox indicator to show exactly where you are. Plus, there's always a home button to get you back fast. Right on the top, just under the title, you'll see a handy little description that gives you a quick rundown of what's on each page. The user guide has its own handy menu for quick reference and I'm adding helpful videos you can watch anytime on your desktop or on your mobile. Every page works like a dashboard with these hover tooltips and clear descriptions for database views and for properties. Oh, in the workflow section, there's this step-by-step -step guide called the user assist to keep things simple. And finally, the weak flow database ties all of this together, organizing your tasks, subtasks, and sprints with easy connections. It's all about making life smoother. So let me tell you about one of my favorite automations in SparkFlow, the mini calendar. So it's this six month rolling calendar that sits on the left hand side of the panel. It runs from Sunday to Saturday with these week numbers clearly labeled on the side. The current week number and today's date are automatically highlighted in this month's calendar. So you'll always know where you're at. You know what's the best part? It's completely dynamic. You don't need to touch it. It shows two months before, the current month, and three months ahead, all powered by Notion formula. So it's native to the system. There are no embeds. And here's why it's so powerful. You see these weak numbers? All those weak numbers sync across all the other databases in SparkFlow, like projects and tasks, keeping everything aligned. And it even calculates business days by subtracting weekends and any holidays that you've added to your personal calendar using this holiday master in the side panel. Now, automations could link holidays. I figured it'd be slow and the system slows down for bigger databases. So I kept it simple and manual for the time being. Now, Notion plans to release major performance improvements in 2025, which may allow us to reconfigure this feature then. Now, you guys keep asking me, can we really make recurring tasks super simple in Notion? Well, the answer is yes. And it's ridiculously easy now. All you have to do is to use this frequency property. You pick how often you want the task to repeat, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, or anything in between. And bam, it becomes a recurring task, just like that. So here's how it works. Let's say you pick weekly. Notion will calculate the next occurrence based on the date range that you've set. So if your task has a specific from and to date, it will keep those dates intact when it repeats. Pretty neat, right? Now let's make this a little fun with a fantastic example. So I want to treat myself to ice cream every week because why not? So I just go to the frequency property, pick weekly, and boom, we're ready to go. So when I mark it as complete, Notion automatically creates a brand new task with all the same details filled in for the next week. No extra typing is needed. Now let's spice it up. So my daughter says, Dada, I want ice cream every Saturday and Sunday. Easy fix. So instead of creating a separate task for each day, just head to the DOW property, short for day of the week, and add Saturday and Sunday. The frequency will automatically switch to DOW. And if you ever want to switch it back to weekly, it'll clear the DOW days that you've set. Isn't that smooth? Here's a more practical example. Let's say you do team reviews. Some of these are weekly and some of these are monthly. Now you can set up just one main task and call it reviews, but keep the frequency option set to single so it's not a recurring task. But under it, 
and subtasks. And each recurring task will have a weekly review and a monthly review. Mark them as complete when you're done and Notion will generate the next one automatically as subtasks. How cool is that? Okay, here's a neat little trick in Notion that you may not have noticed yet, but it's super cool. Let's say you add things like this importance, the time estimate for the task, the energy it'll take, along with the task's state or status. You may even add a queue to queue it up for today's to-dos. And guess what? Notion now automatically adds all of that information to your default task property. Yep, you heard that right. The default task property. This wasn't even possible before. Oh, and here's a fun one. If it's a bill payment, Notion will automatically tag the bill month for you. Seriously, this feels like magic. Now, if you hop over to your Notion calendar, you'll see all of those tasks details sitting out there along with the task. Say you've got an hour free before your next meeting. You can pick the task that fits your energy level and knock it out fast. Plus, you can check the queue number on what to prioritize next. Got a task that stretches across multiple days? No problem. You can even see if it's already been started or not. And now here's the ultimate hack. If you tweak the priority, the estimated time, or your energy requirements. Everything updates automatically, both in the calendar and in the database. How cool is that? And it's like Notion is your personal assistant, keeping everything in check. So I wanted to make tracking habits much more fun. And what a better way to do this than Seinfeld's don't break the chain method. The idea is simple. You mark X's or checks on a calendar every time you stick to a habit. And your goal is to keep the streak going as long as you can. It's basically a habit building with the side of bragging rights. Remember that mini calendar I built in Notion with the weeks on the side? Yep. I figured out a way to bring this method to life right there. So here's how it works. You click this habit flow button inside of the month flow database and create a record for the day. And in the habit flow record, just tick off the habits that you just completed. I'm not sure what habit numbers match your habit names. No worries, you can configure this one time in the Habit Focus database. And now for the dashboards. You want to see your progress for the month? Check out the Month Flow database. Want to see how you're doing with a specific habit? Head over to the Habit Focus database. Oh, and I've made this super simple for the mobile version too, but we'll dive into that a little later in the video. So for over 30 years, I've worked with big corporate teams that are basically pros at setting goals and making them happen. So I thought, why not take some of those lessons, mix it in with this 12 week year method and add my own twist to make it work for you. With the new year just around the corner, it's perfect time to dive in. So here's how to get started. So under goals, hit the toggle and you'll find this wheel of life template. I use that to narrow down your top three life areas to focus on. I like to break the year into four cycles of 12 weeks each. If you say week one to 13 with the first week of planning, that's a great way to structure your year. And this uses Brian Moran's 12 week year framework. Once you've figured out your top three life areas, you can create three or four goals for the year using these goal templates. In the goal flow, you'll find a smart goals framework to guide you through this process. There's also a goal builder template where you can reflect on the past year, clarify where you are now, and dream about what you want for the future. And this is where the fun brainstorming happens. You'll add details like the life area, the alignment, the effort it might take, and the impact for each goal. Now Notion will even calculate scores for you so you can easily pick the top three or four goals to focus on. Now here's a quick tip, don't go overboard. Too many goals will get overwhelming pretty fast. Once you've got your goals, hit the quick assign button to create objectives and key results. You'll find similar guidance for planning projects, weekly priorities and tasks. Now here's a cool part. Those quick assign buttons, they're everywhere. They let you create linked records and carry over all the important information. So you'll spend way less time on data entry. The whole workflow is designed to help you breeze through goal setting in just a couple of hours. And don't worry, I'll cover the full 12 week year system in a separate video coming out in early January, 2025. Now, sometimes the information you need about your projects and tasks depends on what's going on in the moment. Maybe you're checking on your day 
or planning for the next few days. You might be focused on what tasks are up next or what bills need paying. Or maybe you're managing recurring tasks. You're trying to remember about a birthday or an anniversary or you're even planning for your next YouTube video. Want to focus on a specific cycle and its tasks? Done. Need to dive into project management, think Gantt charts, project statuses, bottlenecks and all of that, you've got it. Plus, I'm planning to even add more perspectives throughout 2025 to make this system even more powerful. One thing I've always struggled with is making Notion work well on the mobile, but not anymore. I've set up a workflow using this instant Notion app and it's super simple. Just type in your task, add a short description if you want, throw in a date and tag it as instant Notion. Boom, it lands right into your inbox. The best part, instant Notion is free. There is a paid version, but that's more to support the developer. And if you're not into installing apps, no worries. You can just use the widgets on your home screen. I've got two widgets that are set up. One that takes me straight to the main Sparkflow workflow, which I've completely redesigned for the mobile. And trust me, it works like a charm. Another one is for the habit tracker, which is a mobile friendly version of tracking habits on the go using the same gamified approach. And even if you're on the desktop version of the Sparkflow, there are two handy buttons right at the top. The mobile button takes you to the mobile first view. The pill button leads you straight into the habit tracker. And I'm planning to add more views based on your feedback. So let me know what you'd like to see. You'll also notice that every menu has been simplified for mobile, making it super easy to use. And oh yes, you can set up recurring tasks right from your phone. Now you can find the link to this template in the description. You can write to me using the form in the description. And to see how I created some of these automations for workflow, you should watch this video. And if you're curious on how I created recurring tasks, you should watch this video.